Steve, but I know you guys had 52 shots, all being up 30. I guess what was, it seemed like you had the, the opportunities on offense. What was kind of going wrong? Like, did you have the opportunities? Uh, uh, yeah, it, it was easy. We didn't finish. I did. I think he took advantage of his opportunities, and and he shot the ball well today. He did. Um, going into the at the end of the third quarter, you guys had that 4-0 run. It seemed like things were kind of clicking. I guess what happened at the start of the fourth when their faceoff guy scored when uh, they scored two man up goals. What kind of went wrong? Well, uh, you know they finished their man up. You know that was. Key, you get the opportunities. We got a couple stops. I think we had uh, a shorthanded or two. I I can't really tell by here, but I think we I know we had one for sure, and we had an opportunity on the other. So we had some stops early on the on their our man down, but you know, it, you know certainly the uh, six on four was a tough one at, at the end. Um, you know, but uh, again, we didn't finish on our opportunities. We got the shots. They didn't go in. They got the ball back, and they we got a bunch of stops. I thought our defense played pretty well to get some stops, and then you know we couldn't hold them. We need to do better work on the offensive end, and we didn't get it done. Why? Why weren't you guys finishing? Was it just a, was it a mental thing? You don't know. You know, the, you try and help players. You you practice shooting. You do all that, and. Players get open, they take the shots, and they either go in or they don't. So Barry, Coach, did Albany Zone present any problems, or was it just maybe your guys not taking advantage of things that might have been there that they weren't seeing? Yeah, I, I, I really don't think they were playing a zone, but uh, they were leaving guys open, and we weren't finding them. You know, when they did double, they did leave. You know, it was especially the first half more than the second. The first half, there was open guys. Uh, second half, there was open guys, and we threw the ball out of bounds a couple times on, you know, trying to find the open players. It was just pretty sloppy lacrosse. You know, it was rainy, wet out, but, you know, you, you, you got to find a way to execute no matter what the weather. Here in the motion. Did you guys? Sense the energy shifting after Ramos made that save on the goal line. Um, I, I know we were just playing lacrosse, so it, you know, you know, when they came down and got the the opportunity after that and, and scored, you know, that that was tough. But you know, we were pretty excited. We were getting close, and we were battling back there and the, and giving ourselves a chance. And you know, we were hoping that went in. That would have been a huge goal, and unfortunately, it didn't. And it swings the other way, and you know, comes a two-goal swing. How much did the injuries or just the thinner lineup today play a factor? Oh, I think it's a huge factor. You know, <laughs> we're playing with what we have, and and they're doing their best. They're working working really hard, but they don't have a lot of experience, and uh, you know, it showed a little bit today. Um, you know, we we struggle had struggle. Uh, you know, when they, they were shutting off our, our top player in Dordovic and they were making it tough on everybody and it was opportunity for our young guys and they, they, they need to get a little bit more experience to, to be able to handle and, and, and make plays. What were they doing to shut down Tucker? They were face guarding him, getting in his face and they were sliding to him early and all that good stuff. Well, it seems like every game we get we, we lose someone or we have a shorter player here or there. So, you know, we're just we're just shallow. We're trying to get those guys experience and up to speed. It's it's tough to come in and, and it's not one player, it's not two, it's three or four or five that, you know, you replace and it just makes it difficult. And 
I, I give our kids credit because they're willing to step out on the field and do what they can and do their best. So, you know what? Again, this team, they're not quitters. You know, they they play hard till the end, and they do. They're giving us our best lacrosse that they can at this point. Last Tuesday, you Mark. What did you think of playing in this venue, Gary? And will you be open to coming here again? Um, you know, it was uh, a <laughs> wasn't a perfect night by any means, but. Uh, uh, you know, it's a nice venue. Uh, you know, I like it, and you know, we'll see down the road about coming back. Last question right here, Matt. Coach, what was the locker room atmosphere like after the game? Um, well, it's a bit of a tight locker room. With the, you know, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you know, obviously, the guys aren't happy. You know, it's a simple question. You know, they they're not cheering by any means, but. They haven't given up either. That this team is pretty resilient. We've been through a lot together. We're just focusing on getting better, doing the best we can, getting guys in, getting opportunities, and, and really focusing on improving ourselves. And hopefully that can get us a couple more wins here. And but if not, hopefully we get better by the end of the year. You know, we're playing to win every game, and we're doing our best. Thanks, Coach.